So the search for ways to power cars as opposed to using fossil fuels has not been an easy task among engineers. Well, this search has taken engineers to the most unlikely places. Can you imagine engineers in a cow shed looking for manure? However, one giant automaking company seems to be leading the race to getting best alternative fuels. While past discussions about Toyota tend to be centered on reliability, ease of repair, and less expensive parts that are readily available, it is time to take a keen look at how Toyota's engines have evolved and learn a little about what else makes Toyota a dominant automaker. But before we hit the ground running, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and remember to ring that notification bell for future updates. So let's get right into it. Many people have heard of hydrogen as a gas, and not as a car-powering fuel cell. But how does this work? Fuel cell cars are powered by compressed hydrogen gas that feeds into an onboard fuel cell stack that doesn't burn the gas, but instead transforms the fuel's chemical energy into electrical energy. This electricity then powers the car's electric motors. Tailpipe emissions are zero and the only waste produced is pure water. The construction of the fuel cell is similar to a battery. Hydrogen enters the anode when it comes into contact with a catalyst that promotes the separation of hydrogen atoms into an electron and proton. The electrons are gathered by the conductive current collector, which is connected to the car's high voltage circuitry, feeding the onboard battery and the motors that turn the wheels. But how safe are hydrogen fuel cars considering that a hydrogen fueled ship exploded in 1937? Well, Toyota came up with the hydrogen fuel cell that is way better and safer than the internal combustion engine cars. The hydrogen fuel cell tank in Toyota is pressurized up to 10,000 psi. Now, Toyota put its focus on making a better engine by improving thermal efficiency which results in increased torque and increased power. And that focus has earned Toyota some significant disrepute with their dynamic force engine strategy, which is based on improved thermal efficiency. So what exactly are we referring to? Thermal efficiency is the amount of energy produced when a combustion engine burns fuel in relation to the amount of that energy that is converted into mechanical energy. The bane of the internal combustion engine has always been that from a thermodynamic view and the ice is very inefficient. For example, Toyota today has reportedly achieved motors with a 41% thermal efficiency, which is a significant achievement when most gasoline engines have efficiencies of roughly 25-33%. to 33%. However, that loss of energy has heat from a practical point of view means that at best only 40% of what you are paying for fuel is actually making your car move. But that is where we are today. Well, to fully appreciate this new engine, it is imperative to comprehend gasoline thermal efficiency. To put it simply, the thermal efficiency of gasoline engines is how much of the potential energy in gasoline gets converted into power that can be used to move the vehicle. Internal combustion engines do this by injecting that gasoline in a fine spray in a mixture with air in the cylinders, the piston squeezing it into as small a space as possible and lighting it with a spark. When it ignites, it explodes and expands, pushing the piston back out with incredible force, and the pistons turn the crankshaft, which is connected to the transmission, which is connected to the drive shaft, which is connected to the wheels, with various parts and gears in between directing and controlling the power to make sure the wheels turn, but not so fast that they simply spin faster than the tires can handle. The average gasoline combustion engine runs at approximately 35% thermal efficiency, but engineers have been working tirelessly for more than 100 years to reduce the energy wasted and convert as much of that energy into gasoline to move the car. Toyota engineers looked at every stage of the engine cycle and found ways to make it more efficient. They borrowed technologies from Formula One to achieve high-speed combustion. The intake valve angle, the laser-clad valve seats, and the proportions of the cylinder were changed to spread the air-fuel mixture more evenly within the cylinder, thus producing more power and less waste. And that's just a taste of what the new Dynamic Force engine entails. Keep watching as we unravel more about this marvel that has got the entire industry shocked. Now the new Dynamic Force engine helps Toyota fight for every percent in the efficiency race with the world-best 41% thermal efficiency in hybrid applications and 40% in gas-only vehicles. The new Toyota Camry has a 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine with a new six-speed manual transmission and a Dynamic Force engine that makes 209 PS and 253 Nm. It also averages 7.7 .7 liters per 100 kilometers. The engine was developed to achieve both driving performance and environmental performance while pursuing high efficiency and low fuel consumption. 
It also achieved a high compression moderated Atkinson cycle engine with high thermal efficiency of over 40%. Toyota is simplifying its engine lineup and will offer 17 versions of nine dynamic force engines. Toyota's dynamic force engines introduced an updated nomenclature system that used a two-letter code instead of an engine family. So to achieve improved thermal efficiency, Toyota has modified its engine designs by focusing on how to speed up the combustion process. So the three changes in particular have helped accomplish high-speed combustion, wherein the air-fuel mixture burns more completely and produces more power with every combustion. The angle of the intake valve and shape of the intake port guide the air-fuel mixture in a specific pattern to spread it more evenly within the cylinder, so it combusts more quickly and more evenly, producing more power and less waste. The laser-clad valve seats allow for optimized valve angle and airflow direction to create tumble flow which is a more controlled swirl pattern in the combustion chamber that distributes the air-fuel mixture more evenly ahead of the compression phase. A taller, narrower cylinder means the igniting mixture takes less time spreading across the cylinder, again speeding up that combustion moment and more of its force pushing the piston down, which provides more torque and greater efficiency. But Toyota engineers didn't just stop there. They used additional tried and tested strategies to maximize the thermal efficiency of the new dynamic force engines. Toyota's D4S fuel injection incorporates both direct and port injection. The two systems combining to provide greater efficiency and smoother operation during normal driving but relying solely on direct injection when maximum power is needed. Meanwhile, the pistons themselves have a special finish to reduce friction, and electronic thermostat works in concert with an electric water pump to regulate temperature for peak efficiency. Variable valve timing ensures optimal power versus efficiency, and a higher compression ratio further increases efficiency. All these strategies culminate in a world-best 41% thermal efficiency in hybrid applications and 40% in gas-only vehicles with more torque and power at any engine speed and better fuel efficiency and emissions. And Toyota announced that this dynamic force philosophy would be carried across many other vehicle segments within Toyota's range, including V6 and V8 options. In fact, V6 and V8s with dynamic force are said to be in concept form already. It will be interesting to see the kinds of power and efficiency these will offer. While most car makers are downsizing engines and fitting turbochargers to compensate, Toyota looks to continue on the naturally aspirated path. It will also continue to evolve its hybrid technology for those after sheer economy. With its flagship Lexus LC500H recently introducing lithium-ion battery tech and an all-new hybrid transmission with both CVT and conventional auto components. When it comes to the efficiency race, Toyota is fighting for every percent and their new dynamic force engines now claim the gold medal in thermal efficiency. And innovations such as the valve seat and high-speed combustion are just like the secret weapons that will help them outperform the competition. Do you think Toyota's new engine is the ultimate unbeatable engine in the car industry? Let us know via the comment section. Thank you for tuning in and see you next time.